Hey guys and welcome back. So this week, if you cannot already tell from the title, we are going to be talking about packing for your Disney vacation. Packing is really important because you want to make sure you have everything you need and then some. And the reason we're talking about this today is because I leave for Disney in five days. It is so hard to believe. It seems like just yesterday we were at like 180. So I cannot believe the time has come. With that being said, there will not be a video posted next week, but there should be one the following week. So let's talk Disney. So the way we're going to do this is I'm going to start off with a simple list of some things that you want to make sure you have either on your carry-on or on your personal bags like a purse or just in hand. First is magic bands. You definitely want to make sure that your magic bands are either on you right before you leave or they are in your carry-on because the second you get to Disney you're going to start using those magic bands. So you want to make sure you are very well prepared for that. Another thing you want in your carry-on is any information that's like confirmation emails, plane tickets, anything like that you want to make sure is on your carry-on. You also want to make sure you have any snacks that you might want to eat on the plane or just anything that is fragile and might get broken if it goes through bag check because they will toss your stuff around. I actually got a box for my ears that I will be taking and they are going to go on our carry-on because I'm afraid if I just stick these in my suitcase they're going to get all bent so at least if they're in a box and we cannot fit them on my carry-on I'm sure they will be fine packed under clothes in my regular suitcase but we're going to shoot for putting them on my carry-on because I do not want my ears to get dented or broken. With that being said that is another thing you do want to remember is if you are bringing ears make sure you remember your ears because I know I would feel terrible if I just made all those ears and forgot them at home. So those are definitely something that I'm going to remember to take. If you're traveling with small children or even yourself, you might want to bring an iPad or a phone filled with games that your kids can play or that you can play. I'm obsessed with the Disney Tsum Tsum game, so I'll probably be playing with that the entire ride. You also want to bring any music you might want to listen to, books, coloring books, games, puzzles, things like that. Well, not really puzzles, that would be hard to do on a plane. But anything that you can do on a plane you want to bring to make the time pass by. And if you're not flying and you're driving, you really want to make sure that you are bringing a lot of stuff to do, especially if it's a long drive for you. Chargers are something you make, want to make sure you have on your carry-on. Extra battery packs. I know my family and I are going to actually go out today and pick up some of this stuff, so we need to get another charger. That way when you're in the parks, extra chargers can be helpful to recharge your phone so you don't have to like stand at an outlet or anything. So any chargers, any wall chargers, batteries, things like that that you would need on the plane or as soon as you get to Disney because once you get to Disney you are going to probably be without your luggage for a little bit so you want to make sure anything you need like extra clothes or anything if you would need to change for some reason you want to make sure that's all in your carry-on. You also want to bring gum if you have problems with your ears on planes like me. My ears always start to pop and get achy. So chewing gum usually helps with that. Just to note that the parks do not sell gum and I'm pretty sure the Orlando airport doesn't even sell gum, I think. So you want to make sure that if you do need gum, you are going to have that in hand. So I would put that on your carry-on or in a purse or some, something like that along with carry-on items, anything that you really think you're gonna need for the plane ride. So if you get constant headaches or you need certain medications, just make sure you pack all that kind of stuff that you would generally take with you on your carry-on that you know you're gonna need right away. Now we're moving on to what you should pack in your actual suitcase. So first and foremost, you need clothes, tons of clothes. I always pack one or two extra sets of clothes because you never know what's going to happen. When I'm on vacation, I like to eat a lot and you will gain some weight. So I like to call, I have a pair of shorts that I call my big girl shorts because they're a little bigger than um, the rest of my shorts. So I'm definitely bringing those because if I can't fit into a certain pair of shorts, I have a backup. So if you're afraid that an outfit might not work because it might be uncomfortable or let's just say a torrential downpour that day and you get soaked, 
you have another pair of clothes to change into. So I always like to bring one or two extra sets of clothes as well as a sweatshirt in case it gets cold, maybe some lounge clothes to lounge around in. You also want to make sure you bring a swimsuit. Even if you're not sure if you're going to go swimming, I definitely recommend bringing at least one swimsuit because you never know. Something might change and you might want to get in the pool and you might not be able to because you don't have a swimsuit. So definitely make sure you pack that. With the clothes, you want to make sure you're packing comfortable clothes. I know for me, a big thing with Disney bounding this year is when I did it two years ago in Disneyland, I did an aerial outfit and I had a thick skirt with a white crop top and then a black tube top that was very, very thick. And I went in July and it was very hot and having layers, it was just really uncomfortable. My skirt was kind of like tight fitted and it just, it wasn't good. I was very uncomfortable for the rest of the day. So this year I definitely made a point to make sure all of my clothes are comfortable so I won't be, you know, as uncomfortable in the parks. So just make sure everything you're packing is comfortable. That goes with shoes as well. When you're packing shoes, which you want to remember, make sure you usually probably want to bring a pair of flip flops for the pool, some sneakers, and maybe another sneaker type shoe. I wouldn't really recommend any like wedges or any sandals. I mean, you can, but personally I find it more comfortable just to wear like Keds, Vans, just general sneaker type shoes. You don't want to forget any toiletries, so make sure that you pack any shampoo, conditioner, soap, toothpaste, toothbrush, and make sure you pack enough for your trip. Because I cannot tell you how many times I have probably left the house with a travel size toothpaste that I thought was going to last me a week, and it lasts me like two days because I'm already halfway out of it, and it's just... So make sure you have plenty of stuff. Of course, if you always need more, you can get more, but try to have all of what you need because it will be more expensive if you are buying it probably at the gift shops in your hotel or resort. Another thing you wanna make sure to pack, once again, are your ears. Like I said, you don't have to pack them in your carry-on, that's just what I'm choosing to do, but if you do choose to pack them in your general suitcase, I would really recommend, especially if you're flying, to put them in something hard, like a box. If you don't have a box, pack them under as many clothes as you can, but sometimes your suitcase will get, you know, thrown around and it might get looked through and they might end up getting bent or broken. So I do recommend trying to find a box of some sort to put these in. If you're decorating your door, you also want to make sure that you have any door decorations. I did a DIY video for the clings that I made. So I am packing those in a folder. Those will also go with me on my carry-on, but you can also pack them anywhere in your actual suitcase, especially if it's unbreakable, might as well throw it in your actual suitcase and save room in your other suitcase for something that you would need as a carry-on. Another thing that goes along with clothes are pajamas. You wanna make sure you have a comfortable pair of pajamas, preferably ones that aren't too heavy. I don't really wear pajamas that are like long pants. In the winter I have long pants but before I go to bed I'll switch them out with shorts because I tend to get really hot when I'm sleeping. So most of mine are like tank tops and shorts which is perfect for Florida weather because it will be hot so you probably don't want to bring a long sleeve fuzzy onesie but if that's what you like to sleep in then go for it but just don't forget your pajamas. You also want to make sure to pack any jewelry that you might need on your trip. I know one of my Disney bounds actually has some jewelry to it so I'm gonna make sure to bring that. If you don't really wear jewelry that's not really a bad thing because I feel like sometimes thick clunky jewelry gets really annoying in the park so I'm gonna try to steer away from like too much jewelry but you know like earrings maybe a necklace and a bracelet or two that should probably do you for a trip to Disney but if you are packing jewelry make sure you remember that. Any hair supplies you might need that kind of goes along with toiletries but um any hair supplies, so it is very hot and humid in Florida. I would recommend bringing tons of hair ties because bringing one, uh, it might snap. <laughs> so you definitely don't want that. So I would bring tons of hair supplies to clip your hair back or just to do your hair in the morning, however you do it. So that includes like if you need a straightener or anything like that, make sure you bring that. The last thing I'm gonna mention is something specific that I bring with me. I wear a knee brace because I have a weak knee, I have knee problems, so I have to have a knee brace. I normally don't wear it all the time, just when I'm doing like 
vigorous activities or something like walking for a long time and I know Disney is a lot of walking so that's why I'm bringing mine I don't know if I'm gonna start off wearing it but if my knee gets bad enough I definitely will start wearing it so if you need anything like a knee brace or any other sort of thing that helps you with walking or anything like that you really want to make sure you have that even if you're like me and you don't wear a knee brace all the time but you do sometimes I would bring it to be on the safe side now I'm gonna get to your park bag I normally don't take a park bag into the park my family we just have never done it my mom usually cares like carries like a little side purse so it'll fit some things in it so here are some things that I would recommend you put in your park bag the first is sunscreen it gets very very hot and you want to be able to reapply sunscreen whenever you need it once again sunscreen is very important because if you get burnt the very first day it's gonna be kind of miserable the rest of your trip so definitely make sure you pack sunscreen and just make sure you're reapplying it as the day goes on you also want to make sure you bring extra cash I know with the magic bands everything's so different now you just charge everything to your card but you do never know when you're gonna need some cash so I would carry a little bit of extra cash around with you just in case I'm not talking about much just a little bit to get you through the day so other things would be chapstick lotion and I just recently found a website that sells it looks like a deodorant stick but it's for leg chafing so you know when it gets really hot and your legs start to rub together and that's always a huge thing for me so I always make sure to bring long enough shorts that they will not do that but sometimes you just cannot help it it's gonna happen and it gets really miserable after a while of doing that and it gets really painful so I found a place that sells them for ten dollars and I'm going to go get one later today and I am going to use that and hopefully it'll help so I'll let you guys know how that works if you are a contact user you might want to bring some extra contact solution if you wear glasses you might want to bring like some wipes to clean your glasses off especially when riding things like uh, Splash Mountain you might get some specs all over your glasses so you want to be able to wipe that off pen and paper is another thing you probably really want because not only if you are to run into characters and you want to get them to sign something but there might be something that you just think of off the top of your head that you need to write down and be like oh my gosh I need to write this down I know with phones and everything you can type it in but sometimes people just prefer to write it down with a pen and paper so I do recommend bringing a pen and paper with you I'm sure I didn't cover everything that everybody's gonna need on their trip because everybody is different and depending on the length of your trip you might need more than somebody else and the way wherever you're staying you might need different things than other people so for example if you're staying at some place where you need groceries and stuff like that you might bring a few extra items but Overall, those are just some general things that you really want to make sure you're thinking about when planning for a Disney trip. I cannot wait to go on my Disney trip in five days, and I can't wait to come back and tell you guys all about it. I am so excited. So just a reminder, there will not be a video next week, but I will see you guys probably the week after that. So if you guys like this video and found it helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.